back on the win. Sorry, these are taking a little bit longer than I expected. Try to um, be a little more concise here. So just summarize. Good wind system needs a good weather station. Then you want some kind of a disconnect braking mechanism, um, which this provides. You get these for about 30, I don't know how much it was, 30, 40 bucks. Very easy to wire these things up. In fact, I'll open it up in a minute and just show you how easy it is. Or actually, if you go on a Missouri Wind and Solar's website, they show you how to wire these up. They're super easy. Um, okay. Um, to the rectifier. Okay, you got to change your 3AC into DC current. These can be connected to any one of these posts. It doesn't matter. By the way, something that took me... By the way, it's hard to um, connect these things. You have to buy these... I bought these little self-tapping screws that you screw down. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then uh, through the terminal and um, the ring terminal here. And then that allows it to connect. It's pretty easy once you get the right size. Um, okay, so this converts it to your DC. Now, your DC is going to be... Um, Obviously, you're going to go charge your battery bank or tie to the grid. Let's just keep it simple. We're going to charge the battery bank with it. Um, should always go through a breaker, through your positive, and that protects it for any overcurrent. Um, and uh, so next, it goes to your battery, and it charges your battery. Um, however, you need what's called a charge controller. Um, whenever you're using wind or sun, for that matter, and you're charging a battery bank. Um, because if you don't have this, your batteries will boil over. They'll just keep getting a charge, and there'll be nothing to regulate when to stop the charge. When it gets full, when to stop the, the um, current from continuing to charge the batteries. Um, so that's the purpose of this. Obviously, if you're grid tying your equipment, you don't need a charge controller. So how this works is your battery, um, this is connected to your battery. You, your components really aren't connected to this, per se. Your components are connected to your battery. In other words, your, your positive and negative of your, from your turbine is going to your battery. It's not going to your charge controller. Your charge controller is connected to your battery, and it's therefore monitoring your battery voltage. When it r recognizes the voltage is getting too high, you know, you can set these points, but usually 14.4 um, volts on a 12-volt system. This little microprocessor monitors that, and then once it reaches that, that trip, that 14.4 that, that, uh, volts or whatever you set it to, then it says, all right, stop charging the battery. And in this case, with wind, what it does is, this is the, the, the connection for the wind. This is a relay post. So what happens is it monitor. This is monitoring the battery voltage. When the battery gets to 14.4, um, this, um, this says, divert it. You got to divert that power somewhere. So it, the power runs through, this is from the battery, um, runs through this relay over to here, and then it, this power continues on into what's called a um, diversion load. And in this case, it's just a bank of resistors that burns it off as, it, as heat. Um, and the reason why we don't just cut off the supply to the turbine um, is because you, if you did that, then your again your turbine would spin out of control. They call it free spinning or freewheeling, and you'll damage your PMA, your alternator, basically. So what this does is it it allows that turbine to continue to produce energy, but instead of having that energy be um, charging the battery directed to the battery, it takes that energy, I'm sorry, through here, and it relays that through a relay into here, and it continues, that takes that excess power, and as I said, burns it off into your diversion load. Got all this, most of the wind stuff at Missouri Wind and Solar. Pretty inexpensive, and like I said, they have a great, great videos that show you how to do, rig up all this stuff, so it's pretty awesome.